In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Fantastic Paper Notebook by Authentic. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Fantastic Paper Notebook by Authentics. Almost forgot what they were called. Authentics is like a German design brand. They, I think they mostly focus on like home goods, but they have this fantastic paper line of notebooks. And I think they're really quite nice. They have big, bold graphics, even the packaging, which I unfortunately don't have anymore, had big, bold typography on it. Pretty cool looking, colorful notebook. This is a a six size so you can just see it compared to an a5 quite a bit smaller and in terms of specs we have 192 pages of 90 gsm paper and we have a swiss binding so very similar to the paper mind blocker notebook so basically the only part of the cover that's attached to the book block is on the back cover this spine and front cover are not attached at all and this allows for very easy lay flat opening it's really quite nice the soft cover here has like a soft touch to it beyond it just being flexible and in the back we have a bookmark which is kind of a weird item i i do like it actually i've had two of these and I only noticed this feature until I was about almost done with the last one, so I'm not 100% sure on the, the durability of it. You know, it's a paper with a coating on it, so I'm not 100% sure if it'll hold up. But, you know, in the last third or quarter that I had mine, I did use it, and it seemed to be fine. There's a little pocket here. It doesn't have a gusset, so it's probably for business cards or maybe a receipt or two, but you're not going to fit too much in there. Is there anything I'm missing? There's a page here in the back that kind of gives you all the, the specs here. Oh, 16 pages. Last 16 pages are perforated, which is nice. Easy clean cover. So it has this kind of soft, oh yeah, they call it soft touch cover, which is, I don't know, coated and I guess it's easy to clean. I, I'm seeing some things on here on this light yellow cover, but that seems to be not too big of a deal. Um, what else do we have here? I think that is pretty much it. It's made in Germany. What I think is really interesting about this notebook is how thick it is. So this is 90 GSM paper, and these are 16 page signatures. We have 12 of them. And so what I find so interesting about it is these two notebooks have the same number of pages. And I, I had to double check the signatures here because I was like, when they say 192 pages, do they mean 192 sheets? Because this is almost twice as thick as my Mitsubishi Bank Paper Notebook. So I counted them. Nope, it's not a mistake. So this Mitsubishi Bank Paper is just under uh, 88 GSM. And this is 90 GSM. But the difference in thickness is just crazy. And what that means really is, in terms of the paper weight, thickness isn't the only thing really basically the the density of the paper we know that the mitsubishi bank paper notebook is a really dense paper it has a really strong like crispness to it this is obviously not a dense paper and so it ends up being thicker for the same weight the same gsm weight so i just think that's really interesting i really don't typically see such a big difference in papers that are the same gram weight so i just kind of wanted to point that out here now, overall, in terms of using this notebook, it's pretty comfortable. The Swiss binding with the combination of a soft cover makes the front a little bit more difficult to write in. And when you get to the back, you're going to have that same kind of problem because of the soft cover. Not the end of the world. Usually what I try to do is I try to prop up the cover. It works better with the Papermind blocker notebooks with their Swiss binding because they have a hard cover and that just gives you a lot more support when you're writing than this. So I would say, you know, this would be better if it were a hardcover, uh, just so you get that extra support considering it's a small size and the book block is uh, pretty thick for how many pages you get. Now, in terms of the 
ruling. We have a six millimeter ruling here. It's a darker gray than I would typically like. It goes all the way edge to edge. And if you notice, it doesn't always line up perfectly. Well, this is a center page. So, you know, that bugs me maybe a little bit because having a margin in the middle would make it less obvious that there's kind of a, a mismatch. So not my favorite in that end. Now let's go to the, the writing sample here. And here we can see how less dense this really is. You'll notice there is a lot of feathering on the fountain pens, I would say, up to about the, the medium uh, Aurora Duo cart here, but like the Optima up, I'm seeing feathering. We see it again on the uh, High Tech Point, and I think that's pretty much it for the feathering. The rest, the face of this looks pretty good. Now just quickly to show you the uh, Troublemaker pens, they all kind of failed as you would expect. Now, interestingly, we didn't really get any bleed through. Now you'll see these two spots here. That's the perforation. It's just the ink got in the perforation. That's why they're here. And you can see maybe a little bit here. Maybe you can see it. But otherwise, the fountain pens all did just fine. And, you know, the Pilot High Tech Point came through just a little bit, but not so much that I wouldn't be willing to write on both sides of it with it. So again, interesting paper, interesting performance, just because it is that thicker paper. We, you know, we didn't see bleed through, but we saw kind of bad feathering. I consider this fountain pen friendly performance, but I wouldn't really go much more than a medium with this. I personally find feathering a little bit more acceptable than bleeding because it's not distracting me when I'm on the other page. So overall, I think it's a pretty nice notebook. These cost, I believe I paid around 10 or 12 euros for these. It's a pretty affordable line. Unfortunately, there are no sellers in the United States. There are some websites, but they're based in Europe. If you're in Europe, you'll be able to find these. I think this is a pretty nice, affordable notebook if you like the design and you like a more absorbent paper, I think this is a pretty good option. What are my pros and cons for the Fantastic Paper Notebook by Authentic? The biggest pro is the price. This cost around 12 euros, and for that you're getting a very nicely made notebook with a Swiss lay flat binding, and you have perforated pages. It's quite a nice paper to write on too, so I really enjoyed kind of the, the tactile experience, the texture of the paper. I also think that their packaging, which I unfortunately do not have anymore, but just their overall kind of graphic design looks really nice, and we have a nice bold design here that I, I think is quite good. Now, in terms of cons, the paper does feather when you start getting into wetter and wider nibs. You know, with a medium nib, you're pretty good, and for most fountain pens, you don't have any bleeding, but feathering was an issue. At this price point though, I consider the performance to be really quite good. Uh, in terms of overall comfort, with 192 pages and a B6 size, or is it A6? Uh, anyway, it's a little bit small and tall, so it's not the most comfortable, but I would say if there were less pages or it was thinner paper, it would be a little bit more comfortable. I think the biggest downside is that these are kind of hard to find. I bought this in Europe. There are stores online that, that do have these, but they all kind of tend to be in Europe. So if you're in the US, uh, this is a little bit more difficult to get. But I thought it was still worth doing a review just because it really gives you a lot, I think, for the money. So that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And until next time.